Today, we think about hope. We are going to summarize its concept and explore it through Old and New Testament, and then we have time to apply to us. Summary An expectation or a belief in the fulfillment of something desired. It is often associated with trust, whether in God or others. In Hebrew, Hope is expressed as most commonly with the verb kawa and yahal, and nouns related to deeds. The verb kawa, to wait, conveys a sense of waiting with expectation. But you must return to your God, maintain love and justice, and wait for your God always. Hosea chapter 12 verse 6 Yahal, to wait, may indicate waiting for a period of time with or without expectation. Genesis chapter 8, verse 10. He waited seven more days and again sent out the dove from the ark. In Greek, the concept of hope is expressed at most commonly with the verb elpizo, to hope, and prostekomai, to wait. The verb elpizo, to hope, indicates the act of looking forward with confidence to some future event or object. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 7 It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Prostekomai, to wait, conveys the sense of receiving something in a welcoming manner. It may also indicate the posture of waiting to receive. Luke chapter 1, verse 21. Meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zechariah and wondering why he stayed so long in the temple. Today, we need to think about hope, point to ponder, an expectation or belief in the fulfillment of something desired. First to remember, but you must return to your God, maintain love and justice, and wait for your God always. Hosea chapter 12 verse 6. Questions to consider. What is the difference between the hope of a Christian and wishful thinking. How has your hope in Christ aided you this week?